um, or what, what I'm trying to represent here is a number of Starburst clusters. So when we create a data product, what we are essentially creating is code. Uh, we are creating code which represents the infrastructure, a Starburst cluster. The, the SQL, um, however that's generated or managed, you know, it could be through DBT or some other tool. Um, we are also including things like tags, metadata tags, uh, security rules, authorization rules uh, that need to be applied and where they need to be applied. Uh, and we are wrapping that up into, into a piece of code. And then what happens is on a, you know, on a periodic scheduled basis, or whatever the SLAs are for the data product, we are going to essentially execute or, or create that, or sorry, execute that, that data product. So what happens is the infrastructure stands up, Starburst starts up, the, um, the SQL will execute, and the SQL uh, in, that, in that code, we will also have access points to the connectors that are reaching out to the underlying data platforms. Um, that code will execute, and it will uh, either create maybe a table or perhaps a view or whatever it would be, uh, and essentially, uh, registering that in a metadata repository. And then that cluster, when it's finished doing its job, it goes away. So these are in the Starburst clusters in this data mesh development plane are essentially ephemeral. Now, because they're code, that means that we can get into things like versioning and perhaps we can use, uh, you know, the GitHub repositories and, and that good stuff for branching and versioning. And so we may have, um, let's say version one, of our top selling products, uh, data product, and we may have version two and version three and version four. Versioning doesn't, in this case, indicate age. Um, we will still have today's data in version one, two, and three. It may be that we had data products that were created some time ago that are still using version one. Uh, we have you know, new, the, new data products, and maybe that are being created in another domain, will be using uh, version three for example. Uh, and over time, we'll deprecate version one of the data product uh, and move those uh, those dependencies over to maybe version two and version three. So very similar to a kind of a software engine.